Today we're going to replace the front crank seal on this 99 Mercury Cougar 2.5 V6. That's good enough. And that's why. 18 millimeters, one of Ford's favorites. Ah! Okay, one of the first things we're going to do is put anti-seize on this bolt here. Um, if you're running this, you do want your deposit back, right? Okay. Thought so. This goes in here. Then you're going to put your center point on there. Next, we're going to thread, thread this in here. Oh, now I've got this in the way of there, so i got to rotate my engine just a hair. Okay, now that that's aligned, drop all your bolts out of the... Uh, now when you tighten these up, don't go all the way in, you'll hit the engine. That's bad. Alright, let's see if this fits in there. A little rusty, but yeah, it'll work. I'll put a little of this anti-seize on, the, on these guys, just so they'll go in a little easier. We got some shorter ones that'll that'll do the job. Things never go as easy as they show them on YouTube. We'll see if this works. Ooh. I don't know about this. joys of old rusty cars. Let's try it with the long ones. How far do I have? I can go down to, as long as I see about four threads remaining. All right, let's see what we got here. Now that it's hitting the frame, I'll back off. Now we gotta use the short screws. Okay, I'm gonna get this in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the key right there as something to rest my tool or my seal removal tool against. I'm gonna get under here, pry against the uh, uh, metal part of the seal, and pop that out like that. Let me take these out because we don't need it in here anymore. I just so happened to have a spare engine in my back, back in my driveway. This one has a speedy sleeve on it. Whoops, didn't want to tighten it. Oops. Probably hit the engine on that one. Oh well. Powered up. we need to clean up around here so that the next guy doesn't say, hey, uh, you got a leaky front main seal. Now that's cleaned off, uh, we're going to put some grease on the inside of our seal. The spring side always goes towards the engine. And then we just need an appropriate installation tool. This thing fits, although it's not appropriate, but it's what I have. Now you want to get this pretty even, as even as you can. Slightly raised on the top left, so I'll just make that even up. Alright, and after you've cleaned off your um, crankshaft pulley, I put a speedy sleeve on this one. And you're gonna grease it around there so that 
it slides on the new seal during installation. And grease in here, whatever. Yeah, I like to grease in there a little bit so that it actually slides on. Alright, line up the woodruff key. Then we're going to use the installation tool. Now you want to find the adapter that matches your your bolt. Make sure they're the same size. And on mine, I cut a slot in it because sometimes they get stuck in there. Oh, and I've also modified mine by sanding this down a little to get more threads in there. What's up, John? I thought it was fine. Yeah. That's still... A little bit of... Because I have a part number right here as well. We got this other wrench jammed up in there. And... Uh, there we go. I've had a uh, ratcheting box wrench that size. That'd make it great, but... Alright. Super speed. Now that the uh, engine is starting to turn, time to pull this off. Hey, it came out with... What's the torque spin? I don't know. Let's see. It's about... It's probably not the official way to do this, but that's how I'm going to stop the wheels. It's in fifth gear. Now I start it up and check for leaks. I'm done. A little bonus footage for you. Which spark plug looks bad? We had a low RPM misfire on two of the spark plugs. Sorry, it's kind of a trick question. You can't really tell by looking which spark plug was bad. <laughs>